again, and welcome back to yet another installment of Ninjago Trailer Reactions and Analysis. Uh, basically, this is going to be the Crystallized Part 2. This is Crystallized Part 2, because I don't know why Part 2 has more episodes than Part 1, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Let's see this trailer. your Oni side. There's that darkness again. Just like your father. I am nothing like my father. You must embrace anger and then release it. We are not ready for this. You are trusting in gullible and weak, which is why you are bound to lose. Okay, so that was the uh, was the trailer. So let's analyze this puppy. So as you can see, the the monastery is on fire again. Not like it's been that like we haven't seen that before. And we and finally, the Overlord is back. Hopefully this is going to be his last appearance in the series because I think he shouldn't appear after this. It's that's been something that have been clam that a lot of us have been clamoring for for years and years and finally he's come back. So I'm very happy to see him back. Also, also, I love that acting. There will be peace in the dark. Oh, wait, no. There will be peace in the dark. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love those two lines. Uh, destruction is the... Uh, actually, no. The What do you say? Darkness is the, uh, the internal struggle? I can't... No, not there. Destruction comes from an internal battle between light and darkness. So, I have a feeling Lloyd's going to be the light, Garmadon's going to be his destruction, and Overlord is darkness. So, Garmadon's sort of like in this middle position. So, I have a feeling that Garmadon's going to play a huge important role. Maybe he is going to sacrifice himself again? Maybe so, but who knows? Um, this also depends on the Garmadon comics because those are canon. So also, uh, go back a little bit right there. Nope, no, not there. Right there. This is literally a discount Mount Kavora, if I'm being honest. From Chima, it literally is Mount Kavora from Chima. Just saying. I can destroy the this is, I think this second part is literally going to be a March Neoni, but better re but better written, because March Neoni was only four episodes. This is probably the March Neoni we should have gotten back then, but we just didn't. Hopefully. You are part Oni too. You must embrace your Oni side. Okay, I have a very valid concern about this. 
I am, as you know, I'm very Lloyd biased, so basically I just don't like any Lloyd stories because they're just boring to me. And that's what I'm afraid of. They're going to basically sideline the rest of the ninja just so they could focus on Lloyd, which it's a trend that Ninjago is very notorious in doing. They want to make the main character super obvious, but it's one of those things where I feel like that's what they, sh they shouldn't do. They shouldn't make it super obvious. And who knows, I may be wrong in this assessment, but I hope that... Um, I hope that it's not going to be just so uber Lloyd focused because Lloyd's a boring character in my opinion. So, and to me, that would really devalue Crystallize as a whole if it is super Lloyd focused. So, here we go. It's that darkness again. Just like your father. I Ho am nothing like my father. Hopefully they do explain why uh, Harumi is back. Because they, they, ha they better have some explaining to do. Also, that is a way better Oni form than <laughs> the Garma Goat one from Season 10. That one was awful. I mean, this one isn't that bad, but honestly, it's still literally his face plastered on the Oni mask. Like, come on. So yeah, Garmadon is going to seem to be a more of a anti-hero, I guess, again in this Kind of like how he was in seasons 1 and 10. Um, and honestly, him as an anti-hero is some of his is some of Garbodon's best work. So I'm pretty sure that is going to be the right decision. Because um, as you can see, it there it looked like Garbodon was battling some sort of Overlord entity or something. And it kind of reminded me of when the Overlord plat plunged Ninjago into darkness in season 2's finale. That's what it looked like, the background. Let me go back and see, tell you. Right here, right here. This is what it reminds me of. We are not ready for this. No, we're not. You are trusting in gullible and weak, which is why you are bound to lose. Oh God! How does it feel to have no one left? I think this is a reference to how does it feel to see the end from season eight's finale, if you even want to call it a finale. Yeah, I just got you back. Yeah, I I think Overlord X disproved this, but this is just a clever edit. Uh, because as you can see, there's a cooling filter. This is literally from the scene where a spirit is extracting the water element out of her, essentially. So, misleading. Uh, also, as you can see here, Nia's back in her Samurai X um, gear. And I would love for her arc to come full circle, where she starts as Samurai X, but ends as Samurai X. Um, because honestly, there's really no better way to do it. They, I Hopefully they don't go make her go back to being a ninja. And not because it's... Because being a ninja, I have always thought about it, and I've always considered making a video on this topic. But some people have said Nia becoming a ninja was not the best decision. Especially considering some people said it kind of goes against her entire character of being what she wants to be, you know? And if she, what she made was Samurai X, that was something she made. But it would kind of devalue Pixel as Samurai X, which, unless they make her die, which maybe that's the plan. Um, but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, this second half of Crystallize, whatever it releases, it looks to be pretty epic. And hopefully it will give us a very good conclusion to this storyline. And perhaps even this incarnation of the show. 
Now, I know what you're about to say, but Wilbrain is still hiring people, so obviously it's not... Well, there's one bit, one little hole in that argument. Have you ever considered the possibility of a brand new series under the Ninjago name also being animated by Wildbrain? That may be why they're hiring, because they may be just hiring them for a new show under the Ninjago name that's going to be animated by them. So, the Wildbrain hirings are not completely infallible proof that Ninjago as a whole, or at least this incarnation, is still going. Um, Because obviously the theme is not going anywhere. We all know that. But I do think that this version of Ninjago is going to end, and it's just going to have another one, you know, sort of kind of replace it, or replace it, if you will. Kind of like what season 11 was, in a sense. But that's just my overall opinions on this. Anyways, what do you guys think about this trailer? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the red subscribe button. And click on the notification button to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.